So we have installed Astra theme, child theme, Astra Pro add-on and WooCommerce. During the installation, there are a couple of changes that automatically happens inside your dashboard. So you have to understand them properly because in the future, if you're facing any issue so that you can resolve them, that's very important part for this video. Now, as you can see, we have, if I go to, let's navigate to first post. There is only one default post. It's not necessary. I'm going to delete them from trash. I am going to delete them as well permanently. Well, now if I go to pages, there are five uh, published pages, so I am not uh, I have not created them. So from where are those pages coming from? So if you take a look at here closely, and uh, if you just follow my previous WooCommerce basic tutorial, then you should have a, a knowledge: the cart page, checkout page, my account, privacy policy, refund and return policy, and the shop page are coming from WooCommerce itself. You do not have to create them manually when you install and configure the woocommerce they will install this page and uh, publish this page and some pages are on draft mode so that you can review them you can add your own policy you can add your own return policy and then you can publish them so what i'm going to do i'm going to make it trash which is one page is not necessary and the privacy policy let's make it publish and uh, go back to my pages go to refund policy let's make it publish well so we have uh i think seven pages here six page right now there are a couple of necessary page that we are gonna create so before creating the page let's navigate to settings and permalinks inside here make sure you are using the post name from here not the custom structure or other format from here the post name is the standard one and everyone should use this one and the product name should be default not a custom base from here so please note that change uh, these settings from here in case if you want you can use shop page so yeah, the custom have nothing but uh, I, I recommend default or shop page click save changes after that I'm going to create some page here the necessary page if I take a look at my design there is home shop and men and women are the category we will be creating when we are designing our shop so let's zoom in and the contact page so basically I'm going to create three page as of now shop ho home shop and contact so let's create here home page click add new okay the shop page is already there right we have already seen the shop page is created by WooCommerce so if I create another shop page then it will display to shop page in my computer uh, sorry in my website but i'm not going to create a shop page here so we have shop page we have home page and now we have to create a contact page so for category here the women and contact uh, sorry women and main category when we will add products we'll be adding them as well so let's navigate to my computer okay <laughs> So I made a mistake. So let's navigate to my dashboard, not computer. I'm still in my computer here. So let's click on menus, create a new menu. So if you haven't created any new menu, by default, WordPress will display menu here. So please note that don't uh, overwhelming yourself. So it's if you do not uh, see your own menu, uh, if you see all the page together on the header, then that means you haven't created any menu yet so you have to create a menu here so first of all i'm going to okay so uh, in the next part i'm going to create menus and other part 